saying I think this is probably an anterior inferior okay. subglenoid because we've got a really quite a marked step here so the humeral head sitting quite low at which point we'll go with the zero position technique so we're going to help Chris to sit up a little bit get his chest out shoulders back yeah. and what you're going to do because we are left sided here yeah. he's going to get hold of the arm here yeah. pop the thumb to hold onto the shoulder here and very very slowly walk, walk it up like this no. and then it'll feel strange when you get about 100 degree bit yeah. and then we'll slip it over video. Uh, pop in and we'll move it back down okay so all we might do is yeah. this down to the side we are not going to pull or yank at any point and you're just going to take hold of that to try and relax as much as you can and i would take this in your right hand so you can work with your left and facing this way yeah. very very is, are you going to be like surprising me here or like no no absolutely no. So, okay. so what's keeping it out is the muscle spasm yeah. okay and what i would do andrew is flip over so your thumb is resting on so your head yeah. you're not you're not trying to push it out you're just holding on with a bit of leverage there. Yep. And Take some nice slow breaths, Chris. You're all right. They're not going to do anything to you. I've known that. Okay. Yes, you do. All right. And then you are very, very gently walking this up like this. You're going to need to come a little bit more to the side like this. Yeah. And then we're going to walk you up to the hand of Now, Christopher, yeah. what's going to happen is that you'll get to about here. It'll feel really strange. We're going to do it really slowly. That's it wanting to go back in. Okay? And then it will feel really strange and it will slip in. Try not to fight against it. Just let Andrew do all the work. Relax as much as you possibly can. Okay, he's gonna lift it a little bit higher. The next 20 degrees or so, it's gonna feel really strange. You just sit back in the bed, take some nice easy breaths and you'll feel it slip back in in a minute. So it's gonna to start to feel a little bit strange here. Just rest and take your time, Andrew. A little bit higher. Yeah. Christopher, relax as much as you can. Keep going all the way up. Do you want me to look at the hands there? You alright? It's not that bad from all this way. How is that doing, Christopher? Like, like a little bit sore, but yeah, not good. that bad. Okay, you'll feel it start move at some point. So we'll go, take that all the way up to the top. Oi, oi. Oh, oh, oh. Now, how does that feel now? I felt it like pop. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Bring it down. So it's gone halfway, maybe. No, it's gone all the way. I think that feels kind of normal. So it's still, oh! <laughs> so, how are we feeling now? Well, I thought it was good and then it kind of, got there and it felt really sore for a sec but now it feels okay. a little bit sore. Well, I can just take here. Yeah. Relax, relax, relax. Yeah. Okay, how's that feel? Relax the muscles completely yeah. now. How's that feel? Right now? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's see if we can move this backwards and forwards. Yeah. Okay. We feel like we're back. Okay. okay. Should, like, should it still hurt it like residual, it hurt a little bit of residual yeah. pain? Okay. We'll just rest that into the side now. Good yeah. Then. So it should still feel like pretty sore though, right? Like, yeah, no, that's normal. That's normal. Okay, good. Sort of rested it in. Yep. All right. So that's in. Cool. So what we can do now, we'll give you something for pain. Um,